Uh, good morning, and welcome to Morning Moments. I am so glad that you are with us today. Uh, uh, today, I'm going to the lake here. Uh, I have uh, a, a wonderful guest here. I watched him on TV the other day doing an interview in 700 Club. Contacted him, had no thoughts that 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 I would really even get an interview with him. And here I have a former Congressman Tom Garnett, uh, but he's he's a great man of God and has got a, doing a lot of things for the persecuted church around the world. Uh, Tom, welcome to Morning Moments. Thank you, Andy, and and all due respect, it's Garrett, but I've been I've been Garrett, Garnett my whole life. I, so. I'm sorry, my my bad. Uh, it's okay. all good. Uh, it's all good. Currently, what do you do and why do you do it? Well, what I'm trying to do is uh, sort of highlighted over at ExileSeries.com. And what we're what we're hoping to do is shine a light on man's inhumanity to his fellow man, focused primarily on religious persecution. Um, and I am a Christian to be sure God has really kind of changed my life for the better when everything looked like it had gone off the tracks. But what we're trying to do at Exile Series is highlight man's inhumanity to his fellow man based on faith, regardless of faith, right? In the in the parable of the Good Samaritan, they chose uh, someone to help who was antithetical to the person who needed help, right? They weren't just strangers to one another. They were enemies of one another at birth. And, and so my Bible tells me to help people. So what we're trying to do at ExileSeries.com is help Christians. And I think that even the UN, who's no friend of the church, has said that the single most oppressed religious group on earth is Christians, but also uh, where you have Uyghurs or Rohingya uh, help Muslims, where there are Yazidis, uh, et cetera, uh, help them speak to the rise in anti-Semitism in Europe and the U.S. And sort of that's what ExileSeries.com is seeking to shine a light on through through film. I think reputedly Aristotle said, uh, if you give me the storytellers, I'll give you the future. And we uh, of the of faith, I think, have told a lot of stories to the choir, um, but not to the rest of the world. Um, and we live in a world, tragically, that has largely turned its back on God. So I think sort of reaching out in a manner that is even handed to help all people might find a larger audience and bring about outcomes that would be pleasing to God. Uh, the church today is persecuted. Uh, sometimes we don't hear it in our news uh, uh, I, I, I hear a lot of it because I, I listen to CBN a lot and listen to 700 Club and they, they, they really uh, share a lot of that. Uh, but we don't hear about the churches that are being destroyed and persecuted for their faith, do we? No, it seems like, and, and I, I was in the military before I got into politics, uh, went to law school after the military. And, and, and it seems like there's a different set of criteria for what gets reported. I'm glad that the story of the Uyghurs and the Rohingya is being told in the global media. Uh, but the whole world moved. I ended up living in a tent for eight months. I'm glad I did uh, when 8,000 Muslims were massacred at Srebrenica, right, in Bosnia. Um, and, and I served in that operation, and I thought this is the right thing to do. Meanwhile, uh, if you look at Syria and Iraq, you've got three and a half or four million Christians in the early 2000s, and we're down to three, four hundred thousand now, right? So the scale is not even close. Simultaneous to uh, the murder of Muslims in Bosnia, uh, you had half a million people murdered in Rwanda uh, for ethnicity, not faith, um, before the world got up off of its hands. And so there's this sort of rank order in in which we cover these things i did an interview the other night andy with fox news and they put a graphic up and said well these countries are the top 10 offenders on religious liberty and china wasn't on the list and i'm thinking to myself if you just want to look at scale nobody competes with china right they're they're harvesting organs from the full-on gone they've got muslims Uyghur muslims in concentration camps They've destroyed the real church and emplaced a shadow church that's loyal to the Communist Party of China. Uh, and I'm just getting warmed up. So it, what I think is that tragically, we as a, as a society, the West, but, but also the emerging East, have chosen money over, over humanity. And it's got to just break our creator's heart. It has to. It tears me up inside. So, yeah, that's what we're trying to shine a light on, that every single life has value, that, that yes, I'm going to speak up for oppressed Christians, but if you're throwing your homosexuals off of rooftops, I'm going to speak against that, too, um, because there's no justification to hurt human beings based on the fact that they don't agree with you on something, ever. Yes, absolutely. 
uh, sometimes we get the, the, you know, the message of Christ was, was uh, all encompassing whosoever believeth in him shall be saved. And uh, we sometimes uh, try to put, put God in a box and say, he, he's only going to work this way, which he wants to, he wants to reach out to all people. Right. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I had been very, very, very successful in life and, and, and was 12 and 0 as a paid campaign staffer and candidate for public office. And I was also getting inebriated thoroughly two to four nights a week, almost always alone. So much so that when I said I wasn't running for reelection, Jim Jordan said, Garrett, you can't be an alcoholic. I've never seen you drunk. And um, I said, well, that's by design. But I was miserable, right? So I had outwardly, I had everything, and 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 I, there was a hole in my heart and my soul, and you know that you know, and I was raised in the church, but I was that cynic who said, "Well, God's not going to cut my grass, right? I got to do this for myself." And until I got down on my knees and said, "God, I can't do this. I need your help," you know, things didn't happen that I needed to happen. So everything from a worldly perspective in my life has sort of disintegrated, right? And yet I'm happier than I've ever been. And that can't be explained by anything other than God. So kind of got backed into this, this project through getting cubby hold on the foreign affairs committee in Congress. Cause I couldn't do too much harm there. Right. And then, and then said, I wasn't running for reelection. I'm standing on a rooftop in Amuda, Syria on Thanksgiving, 2018, next to an amazing missionary named David Eubank of the free Burma Rangers. who you guys should check out. And I said, Dave, I love this stuff. I feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but I could die. Is that selfish? And he said, Tom, everybody's going to die. The question God's asking is how you're going to live. Yeah. Right. It's like a the scratch the record and, and I did full stop. And I thought, holy cow. And so now I'm doing something that feels better and means more that I get more gratified. We're trying to, right? We haven't succeeded at exileseries.com. We're way short of where we need to be. We're crowdfunding this thing, but I'm trying to do, and I got more than I've ever had. After having lost everything and having gone, oh, well, I've worked so hard for this. Where'd it go? I won't go. But praying every day, dear God, please put me where you want me. Right? Because I don't even know the answer half the time. Yeah. So it's awesome. It's amazing. And, and so God's so real and been so good to me. And uh, I hope this project, you know, works out. And if it doesn't, I know that there's a purpose for my life. Maybe it's talking about my struggles with alcohol, you know, three years, seven months and 20 days more uh, roughly right now. And that's all God. Tom couldn't, Tom couldn't, can, Tom was going to get drunk two to four nights a week. He just was until he got done on his knees and said, God, I can't do it. I need your help. And it, by golly, it hadn't even been hard, Andy. It's yeah. not with God. It's amazing. So, yeah. There are some of you out there that's listening to this and, and you're thinking, well, what can I do for the persecuted church and the persecutions of others around the world? Uh, look at the site, see what they're doing. Uh, there's a way, the way to, to help them out with their projects. But probably more important, and not that money is not important, but probably more important than that is is the unite unity of prayer yeah, for for the church and for people all around the world. And not to be not to put our blinders on and say us four no more. We're in the United States and we're happy, but take those blinders off and say, God, help me reach the world. Two thirds of God's name is go. All right? right. What are we doing? Stay. All right. So find out what you should do and be through prayer. And also there's some of you that's listening to this. It says, I've been, I've been having things secretly and dying inside. And if Tom could expose himself and say, this is what I was doing in secret. And now God has now redeemed me. God can redeem you as well. I want you to know that. And he's hearing you today. What could you tell those folks who saying that life's over for them and Oh, man. I mean, you know, I've been in dark, dark, dark places of self-loathing and hopelessness. And, and you know, I wish that prayer were a switch that we flipped and inst instantly everything got better, but it's being diligent in prayer. And, yeah. you know, even this morning, it's like, okay, um, <laughs> what do I need to do? What, do I need to get in my devotional? I hadn't done that yet. Um, how can I? And, 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 you know, also, you talked about opening your eyes to the world, praying for the people who you feel like are your tormentors. I mean, there's so much 
solace in that. But again, it's that it's that diligence, it's that 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 persistence in prayer. Because what I know is God doesn't answer our prayers how we want Him to, but He answers them. Yeah. And when tragedy happens that we don't understand, we have to have a faith that God has a plan that we don't need to grasp. And number one, number two, we can't grasp it. Let me go back to the Exile Project really quickly. You talked about how people could help, and I'll shamelessly say ExileSeries.com again. Uh, yeah, prayer, please. Um, share the links. Um, yeah. It's a good product. Andy, we've gone to the big studios. It's a good product, really good, Hollywood quality. And they've said, well, we like it, but can you do it without talking about China? <laughs> and and it's like saying, well, do a Beatles doc, but don't talk about, you know, Paul. <laughs> it can't be done. And and so Hollywood won't make this movie. Um, we've had people of faith say, well, we want you to do just the Christian persecution. And then we've refused to do that too. Because I think we can help Christians more by getting a bigger audience. And if we just do Christian persecution, we lose audience. What we're trying to do is tell these stories because I believe in my heart that people are inherently good. And that if they understand exactly how their fellow man is suffering, they'll demand that things be done differently. Yeah. And that changes the world. And maybe we fail, but you know what? We're in the fight. We're going to try. God can make anything happen using anything, including broken people like me and you. Tom, I want to thank you so much for being taking the time uh, to being on our, on the show this morning. And uh, we're going to be putting those links down below so people can get a hold of your uh, your projects and see what you're doing and and, and uh, work with you. Thank you so much for joining us in this beautiful. Andy, day. thanks for what you do. Thanks for thanks for spending your life helping others. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for joining for morning moments, and please keep coming back. 